Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to problem of the day. Our problem of the day is going to have teen numbers. Now remember, a teen number is a number that has 10 ones and some more or some extra ones. Okay, let's read today's problem. I am having a play date today. My friend has 12 toys. Some are dolls and some are cars. How many are dolls? How many are cars? Okay, so remember boys and girls, when we do our problem of the day, we need to underline the question. And in this problem, we have two questions. How many are dolls and how many are cars? So remember, you're looking for two answers and at the bottom you see two answer keys. Okay. Now we need to think about what the problem is asking us to find. And the problem is asking us to find the amount of dolls my friend has and the amount of cars they have. Organize the facts. My friend has 12 toys, some are dolls, and some are cars. Check. Cross out the unimportant parts. I am having a play date. That is not going to help me solve the problem. So boys and girls, I will be using our tools this week for our friends that doesn't have the option of printing the paper. So I am going to draw 12 toys. Right? And I'm going to use circles. So I'm going to draw 12 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, this is a lot. So make sure that you are counting your drawings. So let's count it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I need some to be dolls and some to be cars. So I am just going to draw a line anywhere going down. Oh, there's my line. These are my dolls. And these are my cars. So let's count. How many dolls do I have on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look at that, six. And how many is on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now remember, boys and girls, you can draw your line anywhere. Just make sure that you're counting and you're writing the number because we are trying to figure out how we can show parts with the number 12. So that would be our drawing. Let's move on to our cubes. So we need to have 12. So I'm going to show you 12 cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I'm just going to break my cubes. Oh, there we go. So I have two parts. Let's see how many is on this side. I have one, two, three, four, five. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in my first drawing, I have six and six. Make 12. Six dolls, six cars. And now... I see that I can show 12 another way. I can have five dolls and seven cars. Let's use the objects to show our number bond. Right? So our hole is 12. There's 12 toys. These are my 
dolls, I have five. And these are my cars, I have seven. If I showed my first combination of 12 using the 10 frame, I would draw six for one part and then six for another part. So boys and girls, there is no right or wrong answer. You just have to show your combination of 12, the 12 toys. Some are dolls and some are cars. And make sure that we are using your cubes so that you can fill in your number bond or you're using drawings, you can use your 10 frame. And write your answer on the answer key. Remember to put dolls, remember to put cars. And then we have our challenge problem. What would happen if there were 11 toys instead of 12? So let's imagine that there are 11 toys and not 12. So the first time we had 12. Now 11 is one less than 12. So I'm gonna take one off. And now we have 11. Now it's your turn. Break your cube stick to show the parts. What two numbers make 11? And you're gonna put that in your challenge part. Good luck, boys and girls, and see you tomorrow.